robbed the drunk one in a fight. Arthur never said he'd been robbed. <laughs> no, not Arthur. <laughs> also, a uh, couple of morons threatened to lynch me. So, I ran away, came back, robbed them. <laughs> Good lad. How about you? A few bits and pieces. Nothing that exciting. Not yet, at least. You were right about this place. It's a good spot. You'll do for now. For sure. <coughs> Lenny! Micah! Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Did you and Micah see anything when you rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. There, boy. There you go, pal. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Where are you going? Something you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot, fellas? Does need shooting? Save, fellas? is need saving, and feed him is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son! Look, you, you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. Good morning, Arthur. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson? Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. Hello, Mr. Strauss. Good morning. Why are you looking so shifty? I'm not. How are you holding up? Not very well. well. I'm sorry. It'll get better eventually.
<laughs> Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <laughs> You're all talk. <laughs> you keep thinking that. I know your type. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. How you feel? Stronger for sure. But not strong enough to work. All right, well, I should be getting on. Uh huh. The exciting life of an outlaw. Yes, if they only knew how boring it really is. Good morning. How you doing, Karen? Oh, all right, I guess. Grimshaw's driving me crazy. Well, so no change there. Morning, Arthur. All right, Mayor Biff. I'm bored out of my mind. Been cooped up for days. Well, bored is better than freezing. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. But Grimshaw says I have to wash all this first. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Sure thing. Okay. Okay, boy. Easy, boy. Come on. You'll be all right. That's it. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. 
Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. One of these days, we'll actually get the man to help with the laundry. <laughs> I wouldn't hold your breath. Yeah, okay, boy. Come on, hold still now. I need to focus. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hey, need a hand with your horse? <laughs> Shit. Whoa, easy. Easy, you're all right. Come on now. Whoa, easy. Easy. 
Easy. Easy, easy. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks, Pearson. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Food you, fellas! Food you! Food you! Thanks, Pearson. Enjoy. Uh, I'm starving. Listen, John. You and me is one thing, but will you at least try to make an effort with the boy? If it'll shut you up, I'll try. But fathering ain't nothing I know about. Here's a hint. Act like you ain't a selfish, bloodthirsty moron. You mean lie? Oh, shut up. The golden boy. Yeah. Dominoes, anyone? All right, you twisted my arm. I'm watching you like a hawk, Matthews. What are you insinuating? I am a man of honor. You're a con man. Pretty hard to cheat at dominoes. You can cheat at anything. Well, that might be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Bessie and I would play this for hours back in the day. I remember. I think she might have even taught me to play. You know, you might be right. A lifetime ago. Sure feels like it. It's good to feel normal again, just for a few minutes. I was thinking the same thing. There's something up with that, Doctor and Valentine. Just can't put my finger on it. <laughs> Not much for you here. Yes! Oh, that's gotta hurt. Pearson, how are you? Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. Oh, Arthur, it is good to be off that mountain. I never knew I could be so cold. <laughs> I know, Mary Beth. <laughs> kind of like it here. But where on earth are we? New Hanover. New Hanover. My lord. <laughs> My mother came from somewhere here. You know where? No, I hardly know much about her. She died when I was young. Mm. Mine too. Mine too.
How you feel? A little better. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Pearson? Quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Think of the boy and make plans. Wish John was... I care about him. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Stay calm. Uncle Arthur. Jack needs you calm. On your mind. How you get on out there, Mr. Morgan? Fine. Mm. What's it like? It's a decent place. There's food to eat, fools to rob. We'll be okay, as long as we don't linger too long. We sent Micah and Lenny out scouting west to see what they could find. Good. And we're gonna need to make a decent bit of money if we're gonna get out of this hole. Oh, I know. You ain't giving up on us, are you? No, of course not. But this is no situation for Abigail and the boy. Well, uh, maybe not. Children, they were brave. God. Hello, Arthur. It's gonna be all right. You really think so? Can I tell you something? Always. I'm frightened, Hosea. Real frightened. Of what? Hinkertons, bounty hunters. It all feels... We've been in bad situations before, but... I feel like my whole life's been one long, bad situation. I'm a mother. It's the truth, Arthur. Listen all you want, but it's the truth. I'm afraid. First time in my life. I know, my dear. Hey! Well, what are we gonna do? Is Dutch... I, I mean, he's always found a way, but lately I... I know, dear. It seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you... Think of the boy and make plans. Arthur, stop being strange and tell her to make plans. Listen to Jose, Abigail. I just wish John was... I care about him. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Stay calm. Jack needs you calm.
fast. It isn't. Well, what's the plan? I mean, after Blackwater, we don't want any more deaths. <laughs> <laughs> 